have a super fun jump rope trick that I'm going to teach you called the caboose. Just like this. Basically, if you can bend down, touch your toes, and jump backwards, you got this. <laughs> Grab your rope and come join me. joining me on how to do this super fun jump rope trick called the caboose. So basically what you need to be able to do before you do this trick, um, you want to make sure that you know how to do a cross, that you can do a squat, and you know how to jump backwards. If you can do all those three things, you got this trick, okay? This is a really great trick from beginners, intermediate, even some advanced people may not be doing it. Um, it's also a fun transition to jump rope in your freestyle from going forwards to backwards. Okay, let's get started right away. So basically, we are gonna start without actually jumping over the rope. We're just gonna get down the movement in your hands and learn the timing, okay, before we start jumping over the rope. So we are gonna start with our jump rope in our hands and you are gonna swing the rope over you, okay? Basically, what a caboose is, it's just a crisscross behind your legs, okay? So you're gonna cross your arms and they're gonna go, your wrists are gonna be directly behind your kneecaps, okay, on both sides. Just like that, all right? So figure out what side you're more comfortable crossing with. Is it right over left? Is it left over right? You do that. Um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna swing the rope over you. You're gonna crisscross, and the cross is gonna be in a small cross so it can fit through your legs. And then when the rope passes through your legs, that's when you expand your cross, okay? And you really expand it and make sure that your wrists are straight so that way you can pass over the rope. So you're gonna essentially be like this. You're gonna have your wrists lined up underneath your kneecap, and you wanna make sure that your handles are out far enough so the ropes can be able to pass under you, okay? So you're gonna be just like this. I'll turn around, which will be totally awkward, but just like this, all right? So that's what it looks like uh, when you do it. So practice just swinging the rope under you, crisscrossing, and then expanding your cross, okay? So it's right behind your legs, all right? No jumping. Swing the rope, cross, and expand. All right? So get used to this placement just like this a couple times. And make sure that you're checking to see if your wrists are straight, okay? Because if they're not straight underneath your leg, if they're down, if they're up, you're gonna trip over your rope, okay? You wanna make sure that your wrists are straight so the rope is gonna be able to pass right over you. All right, so do this a couple times. So you're gonna swing the rope, cross like right here before you go underneath and then you're going to expand your cross once you go through your legs okay so once you have that movement down basically you are going to swing the rope around you when you're crossed and jump over it once okay so if I am doing it just as if you're doing a normal cross how your wrist just kind of scoop around once that's what you're kind of going to imagine when you're going underneath to cross all right, you're gonna just whip the rope around like that, okay? Just kind of like a single strike like that, okay? So, that will help you get the momentum of the rope, okay? So here we go, swing, cross, and then whip the rope around. And just let it touch your toes, okay? So get used to that, swing, cross, whip it around, okay? If you're getting this right away, then you are ready to jump. If you are not getting this, then you're gonna have to keep doing that momentum a couple times Till you feel the rope. Okay, so swing, cross, oops. So cross, swing, just like that. Okay, so I'm just kind of whipping the rope like this. All right, so I'm in a squat position, my arms are crossed underneath me, and I'm just whipping the rope like that one time. Okay, so I can go under it. All right, so next thing, once you have that down, you are gonna jump over the rope. Okay, so this is when the timing, you gotta feel for the timing of when you jump over the rope. Um, so you can let the rope pass underneath you, okay? So you are going to swing, cross, and jump. And then when you jump over the rope, you pull the rope up naturally and you start jumping backwards, okay? So once you jump over the rope, here we go. You go swing it, and then you, when you pull it through, you jump over the rope, you're automatically going backwards, okay? Because you pull the rope up, and then you uncross, and come up, okay? So when you're in the crossing position, you jump over the rope, and then you pull it, and you cross it, okay? 
So, you can put all that together. You got this, all right? So here we go. So, let me do this for you again. So we're gonna bring it over our head, cross, and then you jump and pull it through, and you start jumping backwards, okay? That's all there is to it. So let me show you again in slow motion. Okay, just like that, all right? So keep practicing that a couple different times. You can break it down, but just make sure that you get down the right position. And then once you have that momentum, you got this. So if you guys have any other questions, comment below. And thanks for checking us out. Bye.